Well, in Nebraska, what do we love? Football, no, no doubt, but food is right up there too. I mean, yes. you can't go to those tailgate parties without food. Mm -hmm. A new cookbook features 45 former Huskers and their favorite dishes. It's called Big Red Recipes. And one of those guys, Des Moines Adams, he played from Nebraska 1998 to 2002, right? Did that I get that correct. right? Yep. And Angela Woltman, good to see you, Angela. Good to see welcome. you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome. This is pretty cool. Yep. And we're going to dive into this thing. But how, Angela, I've known you for a while, mm -hmm. and then I heard you're going to kind of take on this venture. Yes. Um, how did it come about? Um, well, what happened was I knew a lot of the, the former football players because I worked for a magazine and we did a story on them and so got to know them pretty well and then one of them started a foundation and wanted some fundraising ideas mm -hmm. and I love cookbooks and I know that um, he's a big chef so the idea kind of came out of there. We were going to do it just for him but then decided why not open it up and let all the guys get in it and mm -hmm. choose their own charities. Yeah. yeah. So we really wanted it to be um, a fundraising effort. Um, and get the guys a chance to to show what they could do in the kitchen and then also yeah. raise some funds for their favorite charity. That's one of the coolest parts about flipping through it is not just saying the recipes, but you've given a lot of space on these pages to those organizations. Mm -hmm. and that's terrific. Absolutely. What's your recipe in here, Des Moines? Home sweet home chicken wings. <laughs> Tell us about the recipe. How do you make these? <laughs> I like the way well, he says it. Yeah, in yeah, right, right. You gotta say it that way. <laughs> well, you know, I always like to joke, you know, there's a difference between barbecue and real barbecue. I'm from the South, mm -hmm. and so the way that we barbecue is with charcoal, wood, right. Uh, That's being what gives a, it the flavor though, right? Exactly, but being in Nebraska, you know, I'm getting used to the propane, but I think there's a <laughs> difference with the taste. So mm -hmm. myself, Nick Harrington, who I work with through teammates, we put together this recipe and a nice sweetness with a little kick. How do you mm -hmm. get the sweetness? What's that from? Is it a brown sugar? How do you do it? Seasonings, little, um, you know, barbecue sauce of your choice, uh -huh. uh, but really the smoke, the wood mm. chips, you know, the flavor. You can't do it right if you do it on a propane. You got to do the real deal. Yeah, if you no, follow the instructions, that. I get it. You're going to be pleased with the results. Did, did you pull up his, his recipe in there? What page are you, you on? Do you know? Do you know uh, right? Say page the, 11. You should be in the appetizers. So <laughs> I was flipping through. That's yeah. not you. <laughs> there you are. Right there. Yep. There it is. Yep. All right. Here's our boy Des Moines. Yes. Are you a good cook? Like, I mean, you've got that recipe, you but what do you think? Kitchen? I do. You know, uh, my wife and I, we rotate, mm -hmm. uh, but the grill is definitely my thing. Um, as it's, you know, it's, it's getting cold, you know, of mm -hmm. course, the salmon mm -hmm. oven, but love the barbecue. Um, Nick and I, we uh, love just to get together, put together recipes. Right now, we're on this rib kick. Mm -hmm. Really, really. So we're uh, going to be um, experimenting, you know, some, well, some ribs. Can I tell you, we use jalapeno in infused honey yeah. on our ribs at home. Really? Please, Because really? you, you're talking about sweet and spicy with this recipe. Something Meat tells me you would like that too. falling off the bone type ribs. It's terrific. Yeah, what, the, right, that's one key of getting, uh -huh. the, getting the flavor there. But how do you get the meat to fall off the bone? Is it just slow cooking it longer? What, you got to take your time. That's <laughs> why, again, <laughs> Nebraskans, this, this propane business, I'm, I'm still getting used to yeah. it. Uh -huh. you, you put some meat on the grill, 10, 15 mm -hmm. minutes is done. But real mm -hmm. barbecue, it takes time. It's so about time. These wings, if you want it done right, yeah. a couple hours. Okay, yeah. we can do that. We, the game doesn't start until 6 <laughs> o'clock. We've got time on Saturday. Um, you mentioned teammates, and that's yes. the organization yes. that you're supporting through your involvement here. Why does that mission speak to your heart? You know, I think it's very important for people to give back. Um, our community are in need of role models. Uh, teammates is an organization started by Dr. Tom Osborne and Nancy Osborne, who really believed in helping young people become winners. And I think it's um, an important mission. It's been around for 25 years, still growing. And we're always looking for more role models because, again, not only in Omaha, but we serve over 100, 130 communities. Mm -hmm. So always insane. looking for mentors. Great organization. We've had them on the show many times here. Angela, you've turned this concept of the recipe into a television show. Yes. Kind of, a, you've, you've produced some sort of show. Yes. How'd that come about? Um, it's kind of interesting. I was working with, if you look through the book, um, the really good food pictures <laughs> are taken by a food stylist uh -huh. and food photographer, Sherry Potter with a Tendenza and, Food Styling. And that's her on the left in this video that we're mm -hmm. looking at here. And this is Des Moines' mm -hmm. episode yep. where he's working yeah. on those wings. Yeah. Yep. Uh, she's so very she's methodical here, I noticed. So look at him <laughs> take care of each chicken wing. <laughs> yeah. So she um, took pictures for the book and then had an opportunity to have a cooking show on KPAO. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't know what to do with it, so decided to um, to put the guys on there and help mm -hmm. support the, the mission of the book and, and promote the book. So we did a 12-week season.
That's terrific. Just wrapped that up. We'll start our second season in the end of January. Mm -hmm. You can check out the, um, those episodes. They're all broken down, all 12 of them, and the links are available through the website, BigRedRecipes.com. Yes. Do you have plans for another cookbook? Yes, baseball is what we're working on now with the baseball season wrapping up. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to start working on that. So we're hoping we get the World Series champion, Alex Gordon, into yeah. that. That'll be great. Be um, and then we'll do football, too, mm -hmm. this summer. And then we'll have an all sport, so everything will be in there, basketball, volleyball, the whole shebang. So. You've been in the kitchen with a lot of these former Husker football players. Which mm -hmm. one knows his way around the kitchen the best? I mean, besides Des Moines here, okay? I, well, let's leave him out. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Uh, I would have to say Tony Felici with his meatballs. Oh, uh -huh. um, he came and helped us cook at My the Ronald Paisan, McDonald that's House. Right. Yep. And he's the one, he, even his wife said, he is the one he's who great. cooks. Yeah. He's the good, the good one in the kitchen. That's and I got cool. to see him cook for on the show as well as at the Ronald McDonald House yeah. and definitely knew what he was doing. So Des Moines, give us a word about tomorrow and this Michigan State matchup. This whole year has been a surprise, and so we're going to win. <laughs> there you go, Des Moines. We're going to win. I like it. Oh, Such a great like guy. That. And that's true. It's been a surprise. Yes, and don't make that face. You know, <laughs> which what, which morning. face was I making, Des Moines? All morning. Sarcasm. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I, I Bo both of you are wearing I'm Husker excited. red. Trust me, I want I want nothing more than a victory tomorrow. I just then be positive about it. It starts with positivity, Des Moines, right? It starts yes. with my positivity positive about affects what it happens rubs on the field. It rubs off. It rubs off. All does. right. Well, it's listen, contagious. if a former player says it, I it's have never suited up Mara. for the Huskers. So if, if you've got Des Moines, it was with that program for five years, and it's telling me it makes a difference, then I'm believing it. Uh, if you'd like to get your hands on a copy of this cookbook, please go to BigRedRecipes.com. And if you've got any ideas for Angela and her team, you're welcome to give them a call. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We appreciate it.